Next up on Speak to That, hear from Jaquita Smith, owner of Honey Huff Salon on hair trends and hair care. Welcome to Speak to That, where we have our guest back from before, Miss Chiquita Smith of Honey Hush Salon. Welcome, Chiquita. Yeah, honey. Chiquita's Hush. not only going to talk to us a little bit about some of the hair trends that are going on, but Chiquita is going to demonstrate a couple of things mm. for us so that you will know how to do it at home. If you can't do it at home, She's going to send you to your hairstylist, but she wants you to know about the trends. And so thank you so much, Jaquita. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Babe. So Jaquita, we just at least want to introduce again to those who have not tuned in before to speak to that. Tell us about the Honey Hush Salon mm -hmm. and about you doing hair. I've uh, been doing hair for like 20 years. 20 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I reside in Dallas for like 10 years mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, after leaving New Orleans for Katrina. So... Mm. I didn't, so I, I built my business in Dallas, but recently, a year ago, moved to Houston, mm -hmm. and that's where I'm building my business at now, but I travel back and forth. Traveling hairstylist. Mm -hmm. So you're traveling between Houston. Dallas and Houston, uh -huh. and you're building your business in Houston. Congratulations. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to have you. I will tell you, personally, Chiquita Smith is my hairstylist. Hairstylist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> started there. Chiquita's been doing my hair since mm -hmm. for, I don't know, many, many years mm -hmm. out of uh, Plano, and so I'm grateful. So, thank you so much for coming on the show. I personally you. have you near and dear to my heart. Because <laughs> you know she all gorgeous. <laughs> thank you. So, thank you for styling me today as well. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that. And me. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. And soon to come. So, turn you over so Chiquita. Mm -hmm. Now, I see all this you got going on here. You know, there's so many trends. There's so many different things you can do. So even, you know, people with natural hair, perm hair, whatever, they can, you know, switch it up by putting a little cap on and all. And I'm trying to understand, well, what's this cap about? <laughs> I mean, you can just sew hair in a cap and just throw it on your head and it just looks like you grew it. Yes. So now, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm going to need you to show me how to do that. Because <laughs> if I can just take it off, go to sleep and get back up and put it on, that's what I'm need, cause I no maintenance, you know. <laughs> exactly. So you show me this. Um. Well, first of all, I was since we have it in this order, though. I was gonna talk about uh the different types of. Well, there's full weave caps that you can mm -hmm. wear. You know, you just put you just throw those on and you take them off, and mm -hmm. then there's, sorry. Um. What we call. Um, you part wig, oh. which I like to wear. Um, you have a leave out that you leave out in the in the um, the you part oh. area. Yeah, so, so hair is sewn onto the so cap. Real. Uh huh. Okay. And you can choose to either there's caps that just fit your head, you know, that you can get, or you can, it's, it's it's your preference. And then you can use these wig clips. So you buy to fit your head. Yeah, you can buy them to fit your head. They come small, medium, extra large. Exactly, and or you can use these wig, wig clips to um, attach, and then they allow you to be able to take it off and on like you want to. You know, mm, yeah. Okay. So you sew that so, in, yeah. sew the hair in. So if you don't want to wear your hair out, you can also wear these things, what we call um, closures, and this is oh. a um, lace closure, and they know they they are meant to like mimic your scalp. So they kind of match once once they're laying flat onto the scalp. Oh, okay. So you would this this is just sewn on a cap right now, but you would put this you would sew this onto your in your U part area. This oh, part, and gotcha. then that would allow you to have a full oh, wig. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Yeah, this okay, would allow so you none to of your, so none of your hair is out. So yeah, none of your hair is out at yeah. that point. Okay. Yeah, which is uh, you know very convenient for the girls that's uh, transitioning, or you know you just want to give your hair a break. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. yep, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, yes, you want to give I'm your doing. hair a break, and well, this one, um, and uh, this is just another one though, just showing you the different oh, textures sure. that I we like have. That. I like yeah, that. Yeah, this I is like real curly because a lot of girls like to do the natural mm -hmm. or similar mm -hmm. to the natural. You yep. can kind of. Curl this up a little bit tighter, wind it up with like a small pencil wand. Yeah. 
and this is like a little flowy wave, you know, okay. just give you options because um, we like to wear, yeah, hair that mimic our our natural texture. Great. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. Exactly. So, I love those colors, Chiquita. We're going to have to talk about that. Yes. Okay, so then we're going to none of your hair. You're all protected. Yeah. So, yeah, thank you. So, Thanks to Chiquita. Yeah. She, mm -hmm. she finally got me to see the light. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, to get the, uh, the closure, mm -hmm. front closure and the uh, U part. Yep. Yeah, because okay. sometimes it's a little stretch for, you know, girls to do the whole uh, wig thing. Like, they'll start off with a U part mm -hmm. or, yeah, because some girls are afraid of the full weave. Mm -hmm. So, then they'll go to the U part and they'll leave some hair out and, you know, just makes you a little comfortable. And it looks a little realistic. But also, those closures can be um, made to look realistic when you're doing your plucking, you know, you will pluck mm -hmm. the part just to give you some realism. Okay. Yeah, realism. Now, that's some so, good tips. Yeah. Can you demonstrate for us? Oh, yeah, how, sure. Uh, to help, you know, help the audience know how they can do it or when they go to a hairdresser. Absolutely. What happens? Yeah. All right. So, okay. let's start so off. talk us through it. What's up? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great for our client. So, Thank you so much. We've got a model here, Natasha. Thanks so much, Natasha. She's also our production assistant, and she's volunteered to help us out today by being the model. Thanks, Natasha. Here we go. Pull this one off. And our protective stock, stocking cap. We won't need it right now. And we... The clips mm -hmm. are pretty secure, and they kind of snap open and close so and I, there's a couple of all the way around allows us to get uh, nice coverage okay Sorry. well guys yeah, see I see so you actually have those you can buy those as you said earlier exactly with the snaps on them already and that way from your local beauty supply from your local local beauty supply that way it won't fall mm -hmm. off your head I'm Brenda mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's why you secure it and this is how we secure it okay so um, you would just braid the hair down and normally you would have hair left out in the area that's um, where you want your part to go mm -hmm. so Thank you. So I so leave the hair out. Yeah. And you okay. I'm still clipping around. And which one? What's the name of this one again? This particular. This is called the U part. U part. Okay. Mhm. Mm and you can. Um, this one is like hand sewn down to a cap, and you can choose to like glue it to the cap if you want to. Oh, okay. Or you can. a little mousse mm -hmm. and to her hair mm -hmm. we want to kind of blend it as much as possible and if you don't get a true blend you know and it's not like your same texture you can also take like heat a heat iron you know put mm -hmm. it on like a low temperature setting uh -huh. this is what I normally do too okay um, put it on a low temperature setting and kind of like mimic these same curls and just brush it in. Okay, so we're mimicking. But for curves. right now, yeah. For right now, I'm combing it, um, her hair in, to blend with these curls. And normally, when it's not like the exact same curl pattern, I would um, maybe add some mousse to. I mean, a little gel to it, so the gel can kind of mold her mm -hmm. hair to mimic the curl pattern of the U part. And you can then, after you do that, you can add, sorry, you can add like edge control, which I don't have up here right now. Mm -hmm. this, um, you can add wow. edge control. That looks yeah. good. That looks, yeah, that, that's blending well. Mm -hmm. I like the way that's blending. Get that mousse, yeah. Yeah. Blend it in. You get that mousse, you comb it in. Okay. And it's easy and simple. Wow. Yeah. This and weird. this can be done with like any kind of hair, you know, texture. You can do straight, mm -hmm. you can do curly. Put that mousse on there, huh? I'm going to blend that in. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, and it disappears too. So it disappears. But, yeah. Okay. Hmm. 
I'm just kind of product crazy. Okay, I love it. Oh, I love it, love it, love it, love it. And love she it. can wear anything. So come over here, let me see. So let me come over here. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see. Okay. So then you fluff it up. So. Yeah, you can fluff it up. Okay. So the finished product, and that was quick. How many minutes? Mm -hmm. What did that take? A few minutes? About, about, about five, five minutes. minutes okay. Ten minutes. Yeah. Five yeah. minutes. Wow, Look thank you so much. How do you feel, Natasha? You feel pretty good? I okay, do. good. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Well, Chiquita, we appreciate what you just did. We appreciate you demonstrating how mm -hmm. to use the multiple products, mm -hmm. how to use the actual different types of wigs, the different styles. And, and bottom line, I suggest personally <laughs> that you uh, go to your hairstylist. <laughs> because while I think Chiquita might have made it a little simple, I think you should go to her or him, let them figure it out. What do you think? I absolutely. Agree. Absolutely. <laughs> From Zesty Hairstylist. <laughs> well, thanks again for coming on Speak to That. I just want to thank you again. Where can we reach you at? Um, at at Honey Hush Salon on my Instagram, Facebook page. Okay, Facebook, yeah. Instagram, at mm -hmm. Honey Hush Salon. Yes. And your website? Um, you can reach me through social media. Social yeah. media. Got it. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for coming on Speak to That. Mm -hmm. And where we give hope to the hopeless. Help to the helpless. And faith to the faithless. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll speak to that.